right through there. There's the weasel through the branches. There he goes. He's going to come out in a minute here. There he is. You can probably not see him, but he poked his head up. He's coming. behind me and the whiskey jobs were saying it. I turned around and I looked and there he was. But he blends in with the snow holes so well. You really can't see him. Unless you really know what you're looking for. There he is right there. See him? Just went in the hole. There he's coming out. Going through. There he is. See him? and just kick the birdhouse so he would get away from it, but I hope you got him. hope you can see him. This little monster, this weasel, this ermine, it's a winter weasel. They go white in the winter and have a black tipped tail. In summer, <clears throat> they turn brown. And watch out, chickadee, there's a weasel here. He's back. And uh, they have a, there he is, he just went through, he's coming out again. There he is, oh he's so fast. It was just a streak, you couldn't see him, but I could. There he is, right down in that hole, coming out again. There he is. There he goes. Where is he now? There he is again. See him? Pound per pound, ounce for ounce, listed as the most vicious of the fur-bearing animals in the world. <clears throat> Capable of taking down animals many times his size. They bite the brain stem, they wrap themselves around it like a snake around the neck and use their feet to push well, they bite and uh, remove the brain stem and drink the blood out of the brain and and then uh, take the head off. And a lot of times there's a lot of bodies in the den where they will remove the heads, just headless bodies. And they'll uh, go into a den and they will kill the animal that lives there and hoard many, many, many rotting corpses that they can never hope to eat in all of their lifetime. My dog can smell the weasel. They have a very strong musk, and I can smell them too, even in this wind. So he's here still. Uh, they uh, hoard bodies, and um, it's called overkill. That's what... There, he just went through that. Oh, man, he's fast. They just, there he is down in there. He smells my dog, and you probably love to kill my dog. He's under the birdhouse now. He's probably going to come out in a second. I want to be ready. He's under there, waiting for a squirrel to go under and get some nuts. Hopefully there's no squirrels under there. I don't think there is. Maybe if I give it a good kick, it'll come out. But they call it overkill. And uh, it's, 
I've concluded that there is a reason why they do that. It isn't readily apparent, but a little known fact about these weasels is that they need to eat. Look out, chickadee, there's a weasel in here. He's really close by. They need to eat every three hours or they will perish. Apparently, uh, that's in the information that I've read about them, which would explain why the overkill. Camp, I put the food up here. Come get it, Camp, up here. Don't go down on the ground. There's a weasel, you know that. Um, and uh, once they get a hold of somebody, there's nothing you can do. They're vicious. He'll just pull the bird or squirrel down into a hole and just slaughter them. It's a vicious death. It's a terrible, horrendous death. I mean, you can go on YouTube and look up weasels killing rabbits and see how strong they are. They're actually capable of dragging a rabbit many, many times their size and weight um, around. And they, they just kill, 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 kill. Extremely vicious. Imagine the larger members of the weasel family, what it, the encounters uh, for the prey animals are, are like with them. I mean, it's just terrible. Weasels usually hunt on the ground, but they can climb trees if they feel like it. Mind you, I think they have a little more trouble. There's our raven causing trouble with the whiskey jacks right now. He's being a jerk. He just follows them around and robs from them or waits for them to hide something and then he just goes there. He's really a smart raven and he's really a pain in the butt. But, uh, and one of them is far more <laughs> menace than, than even a flock of crows, and clo crows are darn bad, I'll tell you. Now where the weasel went, I don't know, but just to finish off, I'm pretty sure I got him on film this time, a few times. Now, you have to really look to see him uh, against the white snow, but he, he is visible if you really look closely. So if you're watching this video on uh, YouTube, uh, you might have to rewind it a few times to have a, a really good look at him because he is so fast. They're lightning fast. Uh, when they move through the hollows, they go uh, willow hollows, they, they go in and out like, they, like a needle threading, like a, thre a thread, ne thread going through the eye of a needle. They just, and they whip from one eye of a needle to the next like in like liquid they have no shoulders or hips so they don't get stuck in holes they can fit into holes that you wouldn't even believe just just like a snake they go through a hole uh, like a tiny little hole in a bird ch uh, cage a chicken wire the smallest holes you can get i think i think it stops at about uh, i think it's a, a quarter to a half inch that gets a little tougher for them to get through but they can do it and they do it all the time people that have rabbits in uh, less than perfect uh, rabbit cages outside they lose a lot of uh, rabbits to weasel kills they'll come out in the morning and find all their rabbits dead just blood everywhere fur everywhere heads off and just a waste of life. That's, that's the weasel for you. They have funny lop lopsided looking feet that kind of look cockeyed, uh, kind of like uncoordinated. And they do bounce back and forth as if to be confused on which direction to go. But really that is just a tactic to confuse the prey so that the prey don't know what direction he's actually planning to go. Watch out, chickadee, there is a weasel in town. And I have little doubt that he's going to make a number of attempts and before he gives up here. The evening grosbeaks left uh, uh, about an hour ago, and I think that's probably the reason why. They probably saw the weasel, and I imagine uh, that was their cue to get out of Dodge, and they left. They'll be back tomorrow, of course. Uh, but I think they're safely gone for the day. There's a few blackbirds straggling around, red-winged blackbirds. But beyond that, no, I don't think so. 
any more birds, just my chickadees, my uh, whiskey jacks, the raven. The squirrels are up in the high trees now. They can smell the weasel. They've made announcements that they know he's here, and now they're all quiet. So normally they'd be down right now. I put a bunch of peanuts down here in the snow. There was an opening to a willow hollow down there, and I collapsed it. It was full of peanuts in the shell that I'd put out for a squirrel that was just here, just moments before that weasel came. And I'm hoping he made it into the tree up there, and I think he did, the squirrel. Uh, and he's he's aware of the presence of the weasel, and I, <laughs> I think that's him up there that I heard. So uh, there's a number of them around right now, but I think he made it safely away, and he's not coming back. I don't think he'll be back tonight. He'll probably go to his bed by going from one tree to the next. He'll go from limb to limb. He probably won't even touch the ground anymore tonight. <laughs> that's it for him.